Hello, everybody. Hello, can you hear me? Can you see me? Hello? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Can you all see me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. All right, welcome. How are you? Good, good. I'm you look good. different, teacher. I look different? You look different. Really? Yes, you hide it you hide different. Oh, maybe because you've seen, maybe you hadn't seen my hair down. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was always up. That's why. Uh huh. You went to the salon? Sorry? You went at the salon? No. No, no, this is my hair. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just that you probably hadn't seen it down. I, 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 was, I always had an, a ponytail or a half tail. Mm -hmm. That's probably why. <laughs> but yeah, that's my hair. <laughs> um, uh, we can't see you, Irvin. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, sorry. Good, good, good. All right, welcome. My goodness, we have a small class today. What happened? What happened to the others? Hey, it's true. <laughs> right? Very uh, small class. I don't know what happened. Okay. All right. We have five people now. Great. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Uh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Six. Yay. We, we're, we're, um, we're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, all right, guys. Welcome to today's class. How are you guys doing today? I'm really tired. You're tired? Yes. Really? Why? Why are you tired? Uh, actually, um, because I don't know. All the day was really, really, really. Uh, we had we we I we I received it around around twenty five calls, and uh, today was a, a really really hard day. Oh, okay. Wow, twenty five calls, and um, yes, you... and angry clients. Angry clients. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. Um, yeah, that sucks. Um, so, so what? What is your account like? Um, is it just like? Is it like customer service? They complain. <laughs> or what? What? What is your like? What but, do you do? What? what what's uh, your account for? Uh, you're listening with your internet, you're listening, it really is breaking up. Um, is it, is it me or, because I, I can't, I can't, I'm having trouble hearing you. So I don't know if it's, if it's me or if it's you, I don't know. No, I don't know. Can, can you guys see me and hear me okay? Yeah, now I can, now I can hear you. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Anybody having problems hearing me or seeing me? I don't. No, teacher. I can see you. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. In that case. Um, all right. So guys, um, welcome to today's class. Um, we're still very little, you know, we're still a very small class right now. I don't know why, what happened, but um, hopefully everybody else will join soon. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna be taking the attendance um, to make sure that I have everybody. So let me start with um, Claudia. Present teacher, here I am. All right, welcome. Welcome, okay, thank you. Javi? Javi? No, Javi is not here. Okay, uh, what about Andres? Is Andres here? Andres? No? Okay. 
Dennis Orlando. Is Dennis Orlando here? Dennis Orlando? No, okay. Uh, Edgar uh, Menjibar. Edgar Menjibar. No, okay. Um, Edith uh, Torleni. Okay, Irvin. Thank you, Chef. All right, welcome, Irvin. Fabiola. All right. Um, Heidi. Present, teacher. All right. Welcome, Heidi. Irene. Irene, Irene, Irene. Irene is on here? Okay. Uh, what about um, Ivan? Ivan, is Ivan here? No. Okay. Wow, we're missing a lot. Uh, Josue, is Josue uh, here? Is Josue here? No, only. Oh wow, okay. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Juan Francisco. Okay, and uh, Jury, is Jury here? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Jury. Thank you. Um, okay, and. Um, let me see. Is uh, Luis here? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Luis. Uh, Manuel. Manuel Alejandro. No, right. Okay. All right. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Natalia. Wendy. Is Wendy here? Is Wendy here? No? Okay. All right. Uh, what about um, a Warner? Is Warner here? Okay. What about Yvonne? Present. All right. Welcome, Yvonne. And thank Edgar, you. And Edgar Enriquez? I'm here. All right. Welcome, Edgar. And do I have um, Ellie? Is Ellie here? Ellie, Ellie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ellie is not here? Okay. All right, what about Jose Montes? Present. All right, welcome Jose. And Jose Ayala? I'm, uh, I'm here, teacher. Good oh. evening. Good evening, okay. All right, welcome. Okay, um, I'm going to repeat again the list because I didn't hear lots of people, so I don't want to miss anybody. Is Javit here? Present teacher. Okay, good. See, um, I was missing lots. Uh, Andres? Is Andres here? No, okay. And Dennis, no, right? Edgar Menjivar? Is Edgar Menjivar here? Present teacher. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Excellent. And Edith Chorleni? No, right? Uh, what about Irvin? Oh, no, sorry. Irvin. Irvin, yes. I already have Irvin. Uh, Fabiola, no, I guess, right? Uh, Irene? Is Irene here? No, right? Okay. What about um, Ivan? Is Ivan here? Ivan? No? Okay. Uh, Josue? Does Josue come in? No? Okay. Um, what about uh, uh, Manuel Alejandro? All right. Uh, Wendy? Wendy? No. Uh, Warner? No? Eli? Okay. All right. So I guess that's it. Okay, so guys, um, welcome to today's class. Um, I hope everybody is doing quite well. You Did you guys have a good day at work? No, oh yeah, Edgar, you, you had a very tough day at work. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, and they were all angry clients? Um, 80% maybe. 
Oh my goodness, I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> no, it's so, okay. so do you like, are the majority of your calls like complaints? Yes, the most of the customers say, I, I ask to the customers if I help and everything is okay. And the customer says, you don't help me anything. Bye. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. You know, there, there, you know, there's all different types of people out there, you know, especially if they're, if they're calling to complain, they're probably not happy, <laughs> right? So, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, what about the rest of you? Anybody had a good day today? Not really. <laughs> so everybody's faces are like all like, like they say in Buen Salvadoreño a Chico Parado. <laughs> yeah. So nobody had a good day today? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Well, let's try to make this um, class the best we can so that we can finish with a good day at least. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So uh, let's begin. Um, with our presentation. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. I hope you can soon. Yes? No, not yet? Yes, no. Uh, do you see a uh, brown? Okay, okay. yeah, yeah, it's brown. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, good. So we're going to begin. This is the intermediate module one. It's still unit two. We're talking about procedures. And the date today is Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. And it's day number 10. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, um, so, <laughs> um, so, uh, so I guess, um, I guess Edgar, you would you would um, have uh, this would be a perfect topic for you today. Ah yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So dealing with difficult customers, right? We've all had that opportunity. Pro well, most um, some of you today, you know, others and different times of the uh, of um, you know your your work. Um, even if you don't um, directly deal with customers. Some way or another, there's always going to be some sort of complaint from, um, you know, customers to our company, and that's in some way it's going to affect us, right? So um, let's talk a little bit about different ideas, right? So we're going to have that bulb, you know, that, that bright, um, you know, thought, train of thought go on so that we can start thinking about ways to help the custom or customers, or better said, ways to deal with the difficult customers, okay? Um, so <clears throat> we're going to begin uh, with, um, on, Okay, so um, so this is um, a continuation from last um, last uh, class, right? Remember, I told you guys that I was going to be making you guys work together and um, and uh, you know um, continue what we started yesterday. So you're going to be working in small groups, okay? Um, And uh, we are, hold on, just give me a second. Okay, I can push it. Okay, so, um, so we're going to be working in small groups. Sorry, a small group, or sorry, no, well, actually, I think I put you in, in pairs. There were some groups of uh, three, but I think the majority of you were, were pairs. Choose three of the situations below. List and describe five steps you could use to deal with the difficult customer. Uh, use the sequence vocabulary that we learned yesterday, right? And then present pre procedures to the class. So these were some of the, the these were the, um, the different situations. The first one was a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. 
Then a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. So you're imagining that you are like the boss at the restaurant and the customer is aggressive to one of the employees at the restaurant. A customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Do you guys understand what is a toothpick? Oh, no, sir. Um, guys, would you be just so kind of um, maybe making sure your microphones are turned off so that we can all um, have a, a very clear um, sound? So just make sure just, um, that your microphone is turned off. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. So anyways, um, so do you guys know what a toothpick is? Dientes, palio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys know that uh, toothpicks we we use sometimes like a, to clean our teeth, right? Like in the middle of our teeth, we might have like uh, a, some sort of food that is left so we can pick at it, right? And make sure that it, nothing is stuck in between our teeth. But also toothpicks are used in uh, the presentation of different foods, right? Just to make sure that uh, the the food comes together, like for example, in a sandwich, right? In a sandwich to make sure that all the, the parts of the sandwich stick together, sometimes they put a toothpick. So the customer found, finds a toothpick and, and, his food, and um, he says that he will not pay for the food, right? Um, the other one is a customer is calling, up, is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Right, so this is um, not in the restaurant, but actually outside of the restaurant. And um, they, the customer is um, saying, you know, that uh, when they did the delivery, he didn't get the, the correct um, order. And then finally, we have uh, a, new, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow, right? So, um, you know, this is inside of the restaurant and the cashier is uh, you know the one that you pay the food to at the end, right? And they, the customers are in line, they're getting upset, they're saying, you know, she's too slow. Okay, so we understand that the top, the, um, the, the different situations, right? Yes. Yeah, any questions about the situations? Yes, the, the, the manual says just choose one, but you want us to choose three situations, right? That's right, exactly. <laughs> Very good okay. observation, exactly. Uh, yes, I know that in the book it says one, but I want you to choose. Three. And that is okay. our graduation <laughs> quiz, right? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, but I, the idea here is, I mean, I want you guys to practice, right? I mean, it's really not that difficult okay. to figure out, you know, and get three uh, three situations say, okay, first do this, then do that, then do this, then do that, then finally do this, oh, right? I mean, that's not too difficult. So I think you guys can handle three. I mean, yeah, that's the, like a piece of cake for you guys. Okay, especially if there's only two of you, right? So, um, you know, you have a, a chance to really talk about it and, and um, you know, agree with each other, right? So it's different like when you have a group, a big group and everybody's trying to get, get your ideas in, you know, in this case, it's only two of you. So, um, so yeah, any other questions that you guys have about um, the instructions or about the, the situations? No. Oh, teacher, no questions. No questions at all? No question. Okay. All right, guys. In that case, um, so this is these were the groups that we had yesterday. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Ah, give me a moment. Okay, there it is. All right. So, uh, so these were the groups from yesterday. I'm going to put you in the same groups um, so that you guys... Uh, are able to continue from where you were left off. Okay, okay, so just give me a second because it's gonna take me a little bit of time um, to uh, put you guys back into those groups. Um, I'm gonna have to manually put you in the groups. Um, so just give me a moment while I set you guys up. Okay, uh, okay so second. Okay, uh, and by the way, guys, uh, what I just, I, I wanted to mention that, you you know, because you're discussing about three situations, 
I, you know, I would expect you guys to take probably um, at least like four minutes, so, you know, four or five minutes to talk about this, you know, well, yeah, four minutes, I would say, to be able to talk about the procedures that you're going to be using for this. Okay, so, no. okay, any questions at this moment? Not teacher. Okay, let's see. Just give me a second. Okay, um, are you guys? Okay, just a second. Sorry, guys, I'm having trouble putting the two screens together so that I can. I can do this at the same time. Just give me a second. Um, be patient. <laughs> Sorry. There's time. If you want to leave, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in group number one, we have Irvin and Irene. Irene is, oh, see, this is another thing um, that there may, I, there may not be the exact same groups because some people may not be here. So we're going to see who's here. So I, Irene is not here and Warner is not here. So Irvin, I'm probably going to have to um, put you off for a moment and then I will see who you can work with. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So um, in group number two, we have um we had andres giovanni who is also not here oh my goodness um and haiti okay so haiti um your partner is not here so maybe i might have to put you with Irvin. okay we'll have to see it when i finish we'll have to see um if there is um if they if the, your groups if your classmates have have come in okay um okay in group number three we have edgar enriquez edgar enriquez and we have um let me see jose ayala jose ayala is here okay good so that group is done um, right in group number four we have edgar menjivar um, Edgar, Edgar Menjivar, and we have Natalia. Okay, so that group is done. Okay, in group number five, we have uh, Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco, and we have uh, Yvonne, but I think, ah, uh, yes, Yvonne's here, yes, okay. So that group is done. Now, group number six, we have Ahavit, um, and who else have it, have it, have it, and Jose Montes. Okay, so that group is also done. Group number seven is Ana Claudia, Ana Claudia and Jerry. Wendy, Wendy. I was working with oh, Wendy. Yes, 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 you're right, you're right. Wendy, sorry. Yes, sorry, I, I saw it. I, was, I, I saw it incorrectly. And then finally, we have Josue, which is not here. I don't know what happened, Jose. Josue. Um, Josue is not here, and he was working with jury. Okay, so um, let me let me see this again. So Irvin was working with Warner. Who is not here? Uh, Haiti was working with Andres, who is also not here. Uh, Ivan was working with. Oh, Ivan was not here yesterday, right? Yes, I not I not was here yesterday. Okay, okay, never mind then. It's okay. And jury was working with Josue, which was not, is also not here. And Luis, uh, Luis, you were not here either, right? No oh, teacher. Okay. All right. So we're going to do this then. Um, so we're going to make a group uh, with um, the people that don't have a group at this moment. So I'm going to put um, Irvin 
with um, Ivan, okay? And I'm gonna put Haiti with uh, Jury and Luis, okay? Sound, so, does that sound good, guys? Sure, did you. Okay, perfect. All right, so everybody understands what we're gonna be doing? Yes? Okay. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Perfect, okay, let's do that then. Um, I'm going to be open. Oh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you enough time. So uh, I'll give you about, I think 15 minutes should be pretty decent time for you guys to come up with different ideas. So that kind of gives you about, um, you know, five minutes to discuss each um, situation, which I think is enough. And remember, you have to be using the sequence uh, uh, words, uh, which are like uh, first, after that, um, then, Finally, you know, words like that, okay? So let's open up the groups right now. Um, okay, here we go. Um, Ivan, are you having any problems? Or Natalia, are you having any problems joining? Yes, I have problems because... Are, are you having connection problems, Natalia? Natalia, are you having connection problems? Hi, Natalia. Can you hear Hello, me? Hello, teacher. I have a problem. Okay. I have a problem when, yeah, I have a problem with my internet. Okay. Okay. No problem. Um, uh, do, can, can you, you connect join? me? Um, I, okay. But le, le voy a I un cuarto. can hear you very well. Okay. Um, Teacher, teacher, I have a problem. I don't know why, because my internet is full, but I have a problem. Maybe Can you see the, the chat? red is slow. Can you see the chat? Right now I get, I, mm, chat. No. Chat. Y luego lo voy a, solo dice y luego la voy a mover nuevamente. Okay. Okay, here we go. situation okay. uh, do you have any uh, questions right now natalia no no i don't have questions okay good all right thank you oh okay yeah um for example um in, in my company mm -hmm. uh, a customer uh, was uh upstate that his order did not arrive on time 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, if, if, if you were in a restaurant, uh, um, I, I remember yeah. that you say that, that you were uh, in a restaurant. No, in my company no. is uh, no. uh, customer service. Ah, customer service. Products, um, como decido? Perecedero, perecederos. Product, <laughs> no sé cómo se diría. Uh, <laughs> No. Eh, bueno, en este caso es, es chicken, es, es uh -huh. eh, embutidos. Uh, uh -huh. Ah, sí, uh, pero uh, como de pollo yeah. real. Me, me, uh -huh. eh, pollo, pollo indio. Pollo indio. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, pollo indio. Uh, um, the, the case is... Just, um, It's very common that you have a, a, a situation a problem, a problematic situation with the clients or the customers. Uh -huh. Es manual, manual, manual. Remember the idea here is to use the sequence adverbs, right? So yeah. talking about like first and then after that and then and finally. Okay. 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 First, the company we have a procedure manual for custom. Uh, and then uh, at, at the line, for example, sometimes it occurs that they, they go out to the line, they talk with a client and try to, to decline a pay, maybe. Tell the cashier to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, maybe maybe open another yeah. another another. How do you say caja? Cash. Cash. Hey, are you talking about like a, una caja para pagar? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. A cashier register. Cashier register. Cashier register. Teacher, and okay. what's the difference between cashier and teller? Hold on, just give me a second. I'm going to um, cashier register. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to sign someone right now that has just came that just came in. Okay, um, so the difference between a cashier and a teller, um, like uh, there are tellers at the bank, okay? So bank tellers are the people that, mm -hmm. um, you know, deal with all of the bank transactions. That's a bank teller or just a teller, right? Okay, and the cashier mm -hmm. is the one that works at a store. So both mm -hmm. have money, but they do different transactions, right? So the teller works for the bank, does transactions for the bank, um, and um, the cashier is the one that works for the store. So they has nothing to do with the bank, but rather um, to do all of the financial parts for the store. Okay. So it might be, uh, cashier might be for the store or restaurant. Right, exactly. Or any other business. Any business where they have to pay and they receive the money. Okay. Okay. Then, and finally, guys. Finally. Hey, let's offer a special discount for next visit. Oh, good. Yeah, a bonus. 
Sometimes they offer uh, a bonus and like a paper, and they go and they, they, uh, they can receive a, a dessert at the next time. Okay. Cool. Uh, maybe maybe free deliver in the next uh, next um, porch. Okay, then offer a special discount, dessert, or bonus for next visit. Offer discount. The, again, no. I have the situation number one. And okay. that's easy if the customer says, let me check again. Says the customer is angry because the hair full is not delivered on time. And the first one, check the orders, time to time up delivery and review the order. That's the first one. The second one, provide to the customer a time frame to check the food and deliver the order. After that, provide to the customer a discount on a current bill. Then verify if the, if the other pending, or if we have our, uh, pending orders or orders late. And finally, review all the orders and check the delivery time uh, to avoid another issue. Okay. And I have the situation uh, number two, that is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. So first you need to be patient. After that, you could have to hear both stories. And finally, you have to take a decision. And the other one is a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. So first uh, you need to check what the customer order. After that, you have to ask uh, the, uh, at your employee if he reconfirmed the order, uh, uh, then you have to you have to compare what the customer order with what the customer employee sent to the customer, and finally take the decision. Okay, cool. That's not good, Miss awesome Jessica. Patient. We can graduate it. <laughs> One day, yes. <laughs> Are you, uh, you have a curly, you curly hair, hair that says? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. You hadn't noticed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just that it's when I put it back, I guess it doesn't know. You can't tell very much. But okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's my hair is curly. Actually, okay. it's really funny because um, you will not believe this, but I was actually born with um, straight hair. Oh, okay. Straight, straight, straight hair. Um, it was so straight that my when my mom, um, she, when she like you know did some ponytail, Brush yeah, she brushed it and she put it made a ponytail. The the scrunchie would just fall off. It would <laughs> and then something really funny happened because when I was seven, my about seven eight years old, my hair changed. Okay. So. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. But it was because you cut a lot of your hair. Sorry? You cut a lot of your hair? No, oh. the, the front part of my hair, the, the bangs, the part of the bangs mm -hmm. started coming out curly, this top part. And then little by little, it just started going in. Oh. Apparently, that's happened to me. But the first uh, when from the uh, to, uh, to seven, my hair was curly, 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 curly. But after that, apparently, I don't know if my high curly or I don't know, but. <laughs> yeah, you, you've never let your hair uh, grow? No, I don't oh, like. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, so it's, 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 I've heard that very common that people normally go the other way, like they are born with curly hair and then it goes straight. But for me, it was the opposite. I went from straight mm -hmm. to curly. So curly. It's actually not very common. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, that's life. How do you like your hair? I do. I actually, yes, I do like my hair. Um, yeah, I, I, I really do. I, I think I'm one of the few 
uh, women that actually, you know, because most women, they don't like their hair and they, they're curly and they want to straighten it out. So I really don't, you know, I don't mind like my curly hair. I just, sometimes okay. I will, I will, um, you know, iron it out, uh, you know, for a special occasion, you know, or when I go to the hair salon, I'll iron it out. But it, it's not something that I normally do. No, I just, you know, just went mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a change. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, cool. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, any any questions, guys? So far, oh, any so questions? Good. Oh my goodness! Wow, fifteen minutes is already up. Me lo senti. Okay. Bye. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. Five steps. Three. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, five mm -hmm. five step, for example. Um, Are you finished? We have a five step to try to treat a. a uh, yeah, I'm talking about of the different steps to try a difficult client. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, so you guys are finished already, or do you need more time? What? Edgar? Uh, yeah. Do you need, or do you, do need, you more need more time? time? Uh, in, in the case of finish, finish, finish time. <laughs> okay. Um, Me too. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. I will see you guys in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Al, al que le mando el pedido equivocado. <laughs> Hi guys, are you guys finished or do you need more time? Uh, no teacher, time, we need more time. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, uh, I'm gonna give you two more minutes. That's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, and for the customer, for the other that he did. Okay, okay. Okay, first apologize for waiting, then explain the mm -hmm. customer that there is an internet speed issue. After that, mm -hmm. offer a fifty per a fifty percent off on net reservation. And finally, thanks Next for person. being patient. Sorry guys to interrupt you. Are you guys finished? Yes. Yeah. Good. I'll see you guys in a minute in the main room. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jose, you have some waves. Uh -huh. Wait. The customer. <laughs> Huh? Where's the customer's account? Hi, girls. Uh -huh. Customer account. Hi, girls. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, Hi. You girls ready? Yes. Yes, because yesterday we did one. <laughs> and today we just uh, completing Perfect. two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so finally... So any question, Jose? <laughs> okay. Sorry guys, you were exposed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyways, guys, I think um, I'm hoping everybody is finished. I believe you guys are because I went through the majority of the groups and asked and you guys told me yes. So um, it's we're 
we're going to start. So I'm going to begin, first of all, with group number one, which is um, Irvin and Ivan. So Irvin and Ivan, um, I would like to hear both of you speaking. There are three situations after all. So there should be at least one situation that you that you can share like each one of you is going to share at least one situation okay all right so let's start with um Irvin and ivan hi but i don't know what is building Okay, teacher, first, um, did you have a restaurant? You had to have a prostitution manual for customer. Is it the first for the employer and for the manager? It's all things that one can do in the restaurant. Okay, continue, I learned. Yes, continue. This Oh, please continue, Erwin. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. But if the customer is angry because his food is not at the right time, this is a mistake of the restaurant, and you can give at the customer a discount. Uh, B, Employees all the time to help convince the customer and call at the manager. This is the one time, the second time that you can do it in the one in the restaurant. Three, the employees must change the food, and this will be free. All change the order. He apologizes and gives a discount to the customer. He, the company, might to have a software for the payment. Yes. But the first or the, the more general, all restaurants have to, uh, have to have a prostitution manual for custom. That is it. Because we yeah. have many, many things different. Okay. Okay, teacher. So that's it? Only that. Only that? Yeah, teacher. Okay. And Ivan, were you going to also mention yours? No, that's all for me. Uh, you got, so remember, there were three situations, right? Okay. Yes. So, uh, so Ivan, you would also have to participate and 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 give yours. No. No. No, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. Um, bravo. Very very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, Excuse me. How say how pronounce manual? Manual. Manual. A procedure. How how say manual de procedimiento de limpieza. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Manual de procedimiento. Manual de procedimientos. No, procedure. Procedure. Procedure manual. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Procedure manual. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Teacher. Okay. All right, very good. Um, let's continue with the next group. Um, the next group is um, Haiti, Jury, and Luis. Okay, so Haiti, um, Jury, let me just, put Jury, Jury, are, is Jury here? I can't see him. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay, okay, good. And Luis. Are you, Luis, are you here? Luis. 
Vince, are you here? No, yes. Okay, uh, are you having problems with your camera or your audio? Oh, okay, okay, no problem. All right, so, um, okay. All right, so he I think he won't be able to be in the presentation, I guess. But um, can you guys, can you handle it, Heidi and Jerry? Yeah? Yes. Okay, go for it. Sure, teacher. Uh, it's just that we, we didn't realize we had to make a presentation, but can I read the steps? No, no, you don't have to make a presentation. No, you don't have to. Uh, you, I just, I just wanted okay. to um, okay. discuss what were the procedures. So that's fine. Just go ahead and talk. Mm -hmm. So I uh, will choose this situation, the number four, when a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. So first, we listen to the customer complain and understand what's going on. After that, we offer an apology. Then we offer a solution alternative as uh, sending someone as soon as possible. Finally, we make sure the customer receives the right order this time and send him a purchase bonus or a special discount for next, next order. Very good, okay. All right, Jerry, you wanna share the other part? I'm going to uh, the other step that we find there. I'm going to talk about, um, let me see this uh, customer is calling outside because he received the wrong delivery or, I uh, know, I'm sorry, that was the, <laughs> uh, the number one, a customer is hungry because his food was no delivery on time. First, we received a complaint of customer and or in, 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 or, in order a customer and, and then after that we offer uh, the apologies to explain the reason why the delivery is delayed and and then we track we track the delivery way and to find the best, the best, the best route, or the best, the best way that he or she can take it, and finally offer a discount for the next purchase of the client. Sorry, so it's purchase. 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 Mm -hmm. Purchase. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. All right. And uh, what about um, the situation number three? Who wants to address that one? Because I get, I guess, uh, Luis is still a little busy right now. So, Haney, Jerry. And I'm going to talk about that. Is you one? Go ahead, the Haney. Okay. Uh, the other one we choose was a group of customers is getting upset because the cashier is too slow. First, we listen to the customer and understand the complaint. After that, we offer the customer a coffee while he's waiting. Then uh, we tell the cashier to hurry up or open another cashier register. And finally, offer a special discount to serve for our next visit. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, just remember that it's register, not register, register. but register. This register. Is mm -hmm. okay. Very good, okay. All right, guys, you deserve also one of these. Very, very good, okay. Okay, so, um, all right, let's continue. Um, with group number three, which is 
Let's see, um, group number three is Edgar Enriquez. Um, let's see if I can find him, Edgar Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez, good. And also um, Jose Ayala. Jose Ayala. Okay. So. Oh, me, teacher. All right. sleepy. You're sleepy. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, teacher. That's a funny joke for him. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to get you guys to go ahead and present. Okay, basically you had three different situations about um, difficult customers. So uh, let me introduce the first, uh, the customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, the first one, check the orders, then time of delivery and review the order. The second one, provide to the customer a time frame uh, to check the food and deliver the order. After that, provide to the customer a discount on the current uh, order. Then verify if the orders, if we have orders, uh, pending orders or late. And finally, review all the orders and check delivery time to avoid another issue. Good. Next. Okay. Mr. And Jose. I, and I have the, see the numbers. I have one that is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. So first you need to be a patient. After that, you could have to hear both the stories. And finally, you have to take a decision. And the other one is the a customer is calling upset because uh, he received the wrong delivery order. And first, you need to check what is the customer order. After that, you have to ask at your employee if he reconfirmed the order, then you have to compare what the customer order with what the employee sent to the customer, finally you take the decision. That's it. Okay, very good. Okay, bravo. Also, you guys deserve one of these. Okay. Um, how do you say uh, paciente in English, um, Jose? Patient. Patient, uh -huh. very good. All right, excellent. Be careful with this word, everybody, uh, because uh, I know that this is uh, one of those words where um, it can easily be confused, right? So um, you want to make sure that you're, you're doing it correctly and you're saying patient, not passion, right? Because passion, passion is, is other thing. Yeah, it sounds like something else, right? Okay. Yeah. Patient, you say. Patient. Yeah, patient. Exactly. Patient. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Patient is paciente. Y paciencia. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. What is the difference? Yeah, okay. Uh, so we have, I'll, I'll write it in, in, in the chat. So we have patient, which is paciente, right? Patient. Right at the end, like the t at the end. Yeah, at the end. Yes. yes. So patient, and the other one is patience. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My, sorry, my mistake. Patience. Patience. Okay. Patience. 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 Which is with a C E at the end. So patience. Uh, patience. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Teacher, okay. and the person have a patience. We, ¿Cómo se dice? Paciente, pero que tenga paciencia. The patient has patience. <laughs> yes, okay, actually, uh, you don't you don't really um, say that the pa the patient has patience. You say the patient, the patient is, is patient. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, uh, although usually the patient is patient. Uh, although you could say like that's like the more like the, the more uh, 
common way, the usual way that you would say it. But yes, you could say el paciente tiene paciencia, but usually el paciente es paciente, right? Um, but yes, you could say, so the patient, the patient is patient. Has, and with the, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please do it again, teacher. The patient. The patient has patience. At, at the end, is patience. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Teacher is not is. The patient is patient. Yes, oh. she, that is what she was explaining. Is the correct way? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I mean, the more common way to say it is the patient is patient, right? El paciente es muy paciente, right? Or, mm -hmm. but, but, um, you know, because patient is an is an adjective, right? So, but if you're going to use patience, which is the noun, you would say has <laughs> has patience. Does that make sense? Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Patience is like with the Z at the end. Patience. Just no, not like a Z. The it, patient it has like an patience. S. Ah, okay, patience. Exactly, patience. Patience. <laughs> and the patience. My God. That's like the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What song? Just a little of patience. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's no, a, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know which one. That what? is a song for. Guns and Roses, right? Guns and Roses. That's right. Oh. A little patience. Oh, okay. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. No. I. I. That's probably why I'm not familiar with them. I'm not so much a a, a rock fan. <laughs> really? I don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's the idea. All right, so let's move on. Uh, the next uh, group is, let me see, let me see. Um, the next group would be Edgar and Ed Edgar Menjivar and Natalia. So Edgar Menjivar and Natalia, are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. All right. So we are mm -hmm. ready to hear you. Um, Antonia? Hello? I think Natalia is having a little bit of um, internet problems or, or is it, are you okay with the, with the connection now, Natalia? Yeah, I think she's having a little bit of problems, but but it's okay. Um, well, we're gonna try to oh. listen to her, and hopefully we can. So, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, one second. Yeah, right now, right now it's it's almost slow. I don't know if he, if you can see. Yeah, we can see you, but we're having problems hearing you. So let's try something, Natalia. Turn off your camera for a moment. Maybe the audio will be better yeah. um, if you turn off the camera, just you know, just because we want to be able to hear you. Okay. Uh, 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 in my case, I'm working on bank, so I have many... Oh, um, I think something happened. Far away. <laughs> I think she would disappear to another dimension. Yes, she disappeared. Okay, hold on. But, uh, okay. Let's, okay, just let's let's wait for her. Um, no, so she's still connected, but I guess she's just. The, the difficult Natalia. Sorry. Uh, in, in the internet. Sorry, teacher, ah, okay. but I have problems with the internet. It's okay. It's sorry, okay, Natalia. Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, sorry. 
have internet issues. That, that... I have very pro I have problems with it. Okay, uh, I turn off the camera. Because... Yeah, turn off the camera. It's okay. We... We can leave. <laughs> Are you asking or confirming? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Um, teacher, uh, we uh, can continue with me? the presentation. Maybe tomorrow yeah. the internet yeah. uh, is better. The yeah. attendance, okay. teacher. The Actually, attendance. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, we're going to do that. You know what? We're, we're going to do something. Um, may, we're going to give um, Natalia a little bit of chance. Maybe later on her internet connection is a little bit better. Tomorrow. So, um, we are going to, um, we're going to move on uh, to the next group and maybe we'll, at the end, we'll see if we can add you guys in. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're going to continue. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's fighting with the internet really. <laughs> I, I can see I can see your 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 big effort. Uh, <laughs> um, we can see letter by letter. <laughs> so um I just don't want you to be uh, you know so worried about your internet connection right now. So that's why I was saying, I was thinking, you know, it would be better for us to uh, just wait a little bit, maybe in a few minutes, it will be better. Is that okay, Natalia? Yeah. Okay, so let, yeah. let's wait. Let's I'm going up right now. And Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to actually, yes, take attendance again. So um, let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Javid. Present teacher. Great. Um, Andres. Present teacher. Sorry right. to be late today. Okay. All right. Well, well, we're happy that you are you were able to connect. Okay. So Dennis Orlando, no, right? Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Um, and Eddie Chorleni. Eddie Chorleni. No, right? Uh, Irvin. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Uh, Fabiola. All right. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Irene. Irene. No. Ivan. Present. All right. Great. Josue. No, right. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Great. Uh, Jury. Present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Luis. Present teacher. Okay, great. Manuel Alejandro. No, right? Okay. Uh, Natalia. Natalia, can you hear me now? Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you, Natalia. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, the, I, the good thing is that I, I can hear that you are here. Excellent. All right, Wendy. That's another language. Present, present teacher. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> uh, Warner? Warner, no. And Yvonne? Present. Okay, great. Edgar 
Enriquez? I'm here. Okay, great. Um, Eli? Eli, no, right? Okay. Jose Montes? Present. All right. And Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Okay, now that we've gotten that, um, let's continue with the presentations. We're going to be hearing. Um, let's see, let's see who's next. Um, okay, Juan Francisco and uh, Yvonne, Juan Francisco and Yvonne. Can I share my screen? Sure. Okay. The uh, number one, a customer is hungry because his food was not delivered on time. First, apologize with the customer for delay in his order. After that, I had to see what happened in the kitchen and why is the delay. Uh, then I offer a free snack or a starter while he waits for his food, his food. Finally, I offer a discount coupon for his net visit. Very good. Uh, we choose uh, uh, the situation number three. Uh, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. So first, uh, we have to apologize with the customer for the incident. After that, we offer free food for the customer. And finally, uh, we make a meeting uh, for have a discussion with the kitchen personnel because we have to be more careful in the future. Um, the next situation is uh, situation number four. A uh, customer is styling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. In that case, uh, we first have to apologize with the customer for the incident. After that, we ask for to the customer for the order that he did at the beginning. Then we offer send to the customer his original order for free. And finally, we have to find out why the customer received the wrong order to avoid incidents in the future. Very good. Okay, excellent. Bravo, guys. Very, very good. Thank you. You deserve one of these. Excellent. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so, um, see, um, let's move on to the next group. Uh, the next group will be, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, have it and um, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, um, so just give me a second. All right, so we have have it and Jose Montes. Jose Montes, are you there? Of course. Okay, wonderful. All right, so we're ready. Yes. For you guys. Yes. Yes, I choose the first one. A customer is angry because his food 
was not delivered on time. First, apologize for the inconvenience, then show empathy. After that, offer the delivery for free. Then, uh, uh, thanks for the preference. And finally, apologize for the delay. Also, uh, the number five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Uh, first, apologize for waiting. Then explain to the customer that there is an internet speed issue. After that, offer a 50% off on next reservation. And finally, thank customer for being patient. For the situation number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery. First, explain the reason about the wrong order. After that, apologize for the inconvenience and then offer the right order for free. And finally, thanks the customer for being a loyal customer or a loyal client. Very good, excellent, bravo, excellent. Okay, um, thanks Jose. Very thanks good, you. you guys deserve again one of these. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you very much. Um, all right, and the next group is uh, group number Number seven, Ana Claudia. Hold on, just give me a second. Ana Claudia and Wendy. And Wendy. That's right. Okay, um, so are we ready, Ana Claudia and Wendy? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Ana Claudia, you first or me? You go ahead, start, okay. then I continue. Okay. Okay, uh, the situation uh, we decided is number four. A customer, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Uh, first, greet the customer and apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, after that, review the order details and check what is the problem. Uh, then give a explanation of the customer and, and uh, send the correct order in, sorry, and finally send the correct order immediately and give the apology. Okay, then uh, we select the uh, situation number five as a second one. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. So we think that first the manager will apologize with the customers for the inconvenience. After that, um, find out what the issue is and no, find out why is the issue and that is because sometimes the system doesn't work or there are software issue or identify if this is a cashier problem. Then uh, the manager will look for help or assistance opening an additional uh, cash register. And finally, make sure to process all the customer's payment. I don't remember that is the two process, right? Two process. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Uh, right. mm -hmm. The other situation we choose um, is the number two. A, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh, first, uh, we greet the customer and find out what the issue is. After that, uh, we take control of the situation, look for a, a better solution as a manager, right? Then if the customer aggressiveness 
aggressiveness. How do you pronounce that word? Aggressiveness. Aggressiveness. Ah, okay. If the customer aggressiveness continues, the manager can ask the customer to leave the restaurants in a polite way. <laughs> and then finally, the uh, restaurant waits the customer account. I will be more than glad to invite the customer to go out my restaurant. <laughs> Please, bye bye, go out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, very good. All right, very good, girls. Excellent. Okay. Um, all right, just a question How do you say incidente in English? Incident? incident. Yes, the incident. Oh, the incident. In the incident. On the, on the first syllable. Incident. Incident, okay. The incident. You. Okay. Very good. Um, Sir, yeah. Eh, ¿Cómo se le llama o cómo se le dice a alguien que es maleducado? En Rude. inglés. Rude. 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 Yes, Rude. I'll write in the chat. Rude is the opposite of being polite. Polite? Ah, rude. Yeah. I thought that Ruth was someone that was like, I think que levantaba la voz, o sea, es maleducado uh -huh. en sí. Uh, Ruth is somebody that doesn't have, that is not polite. Uh -huh. So, yeah, the opposite of rude, uh, uh, polite is rude. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Like in Spanish, rudo. Uh -huh. yeah, pero eh, rudo se toma como tosco. Tal vez, pero no, sí. no, no, yeah, you're right. Um, but in, 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 in English, it also has that connotation, but it, it mostly is used as a connotation of being opposite of polite. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. very good. Very good. Um, because you could say impolite, but impolite is sounds still polite. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, so if you want to say that the person really is impolite, you would say they're rude. Okay. 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 All right. Um, so I guess Natalia still continued having internet problems. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to continue like, uh, like I could, I could give you the opportunity um, Edgar to um, you know, to, to, to do it yourself, but I don't, I, I wouldn't like that because I know that she really wanted to participate in this. So I, I'm going to um, give her the opportunity if she connects at the end of the class and we'll listen to you guys. And if not, we'll wait until tomorrow. Okay. Is that okay, Edgar? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to continue with um, our presentation. Class, is it just me or is it really hot today? I don't know, but it, it's right? really hot. I was about right? to ask you to, yes. Yeah, yes. today, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because it hasn't rained, but you know, it's really hot right now, you know, and it's almost 10 o'clock and it's really hot. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, all right, we're going to share the PowerPoint. Please tell me when you can see it. Um, okay, so you guys can see it, right? Right? Yes, teacher. Perfect, okay, yes. good. Okay, so let's go ahead. So adverse and, and transitions and transition expressions. So we, we saw this a little bit yesterday, but we're gonna go a little bit into depth with it today. So we're going to be looking at um, this explanation about transition words. Okay, I need a volunteer to help me read the information about transitions. Who can help me? A volunteer? I can help you. Wonderful, thank you, Jose. Um, go ahead. Adverse and transition expressions. Transition words are used to connect phrases 
or a sentence. Just let me one moment. Okay, or a sentence, they express sequency and progress or from one idea to the next. When these words are used at the beginning of the sentence, they are followed by a comma. Thank you, Jose. Okay, you can read up to there, that's fine. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what the transition words mean. Transition words, the word transition tells us that, you know, we're moving from one place to another, right? That's a transition, right? But to, but to be able to move, you want to make it like um, easier, okay? So the transition words, what they do is they, they move, they connect one idea, one phrase to another idea or another phrase, okay? And they express, and specifically what we're looking at, but well, there are different types of transition words by the way, many, many, many different types. Um, and wow, like there's a lot of them in English, right? So we're not gonna cover all of them, but right now we're gonna be looking at sequence um, transition words, right? And these um, express that uh, we're progressing from one idea to the next idea to the next to the next, right? So it goes in an order, let's say, okay? And the interesting part of this is that when the words come at the beginning of the sentence, they are followed by a comma. So what we're doing is we are transitioning or we are moving from the, the last sentence to the next sentence, right? And we're putting them together and make connecting them and making that connection um, smoother by adding the transition word. And after we, uh, we are, the, the, the transition word goes at the beginning of the sentence to show that we're connecting the last sentence with the new sentence. And to do this, we, when we put it at the beginning, we put a comma. Example, can somebody help us read the examples? Another person? First, you have to give options to the customer. You can continue. After that, after that, you have to take the payment. Or afterward, you have to take the payment. Then, then the register prints the receipt and you give, give, give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. All right, wonderful. And thank you very much, Javi. Uh, you did a wonderful job in pronouncing the word receipt correctly. Very good. Okay, so here there are some examples, right? If you notice in all the examples, we start with the word at the beginning, right? Um, the transition word is at the beginning. So we have first, hold on, no, let's do this. Let's do it with, um, a different color. So we have uh, first, right, as at the beginning, after that, um, then finally. And if you notice, we have this new word that we didn't talk about yesterday, which is afterward. Do afterward. you know, do you know what is the difference? Or how, what is, how do you use afterward? Anybody know? So what's the difference between after that and afterwards? After that, you are referring to a previous process, I guess. Maybe it's a synonym? A synonym? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right, it is. After that and afterwards, it's the same thing. The only difference is, remember what I told you yesterday, that with the word after, we can't just simply say after. We have to say after that, or after um, the breakfast, or after I come back, blah, 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 whatever. We, we have to say something after the word after, right? So that's why it's more common just to say after that. 
But if you don't want to use the word that, if you don't want to add another word, we can just make, we can use it as one word, but in that case, we have to say after words. So we have to add this, this ending words and make it one full word. Does that make sense? Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Can, can you give us an example using after word? After word? Yeah, uh, it's the same thing. I could easily, um, instead of saying, um, instead of saying after that, I can say afterwards. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, give me a second. So it's like I said, it's a synonym, right? So I could say after that, you have to take the payment. I can also say afterwards, you have to take the payment. So it's the same thing. You just replace the word after that with the word afterwards uh, because afterwards makes it one word instead of having it two. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah, and, and the same thing happens with is applicable here, but this one I could also say after that. Okay, after that. Okay. So in this sentence over here, it, I could also say after that, you have to make the payment. You have to take the payment, right? So it's, it's, it's interchangeable. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, um, the other thing that is, is important is that you notice with all of this of um, the transitions that begin uh, with uh, the transition at the beginning, we're going to be using. Hold on, we're going to be using a comma. a comma. Okay, so notice all of them have a comma uh -huh. over here. Okay, so we always, always, always need to have a comma. That's a rule that we can't avoid. If we're starting with the uh, transition word, we need to add a comma. All right, sounds good? Yes. Okay, any questions so far? Not questions, teacher. You want more examples? You want more examples, guys? Yes or no? For me, okay, but if you already have them yes, please. wrote them, <laughs> show them. Okay. All right, great. Okay, so we'll do some more examples, okay? Um, so, first, he gets home and takes off his work clothes. Okay, so this is a sequence of events. Here, we're, we're imagining this guy that's finished work, he gets home and he takes off his his work clothes. That's the first thing that he does when he comes home. Sounds good? Okay, so let's find out what he what 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 happens. What is the next thing that happens after he takes off his work clothes? After that, he turns on the TV and watches the news for 30 minutes. Okay, so we can imagine this guy he's coming home from work. You know, he's, um, you know, sorry, he's tired. He just wants to relax a little bit. So he turns on the TV and he watches the news for 30 minutes, okay? But he's also a very disciplined guy. So guess what he does after? Afterwards, he goes for a quick run around the neighborhood, okay? So he's tired, but he already had a little, you know, 30 minute break. So now it's time for him to go around the neighborhood for a quick run, okay? And what happens after the run? Well, you know, he's sweating. So then he takes a shower, right? He has to take a shower, you know, because he's all sweaty and everything. And to um, finish off the day, finally, he cooks himself some dinner and eats while listening to some music, okay? All right, so this is this guy's wonderful day after after work. Does that sound familiar to any of you? Do you guys do something similar to this when you get home? 
Yeah. More or less? A little bit? No, teacher. I never run. <laughs> never run. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you do any exercise, Javi? No. Um, no? No. Sometimes Zumba or something like that. That's good. Uh, it's good and fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So do you see how the sequence of events happens? You know, we, we can really, when you see like a, a routine, it's actually very easy to identify this. And you will also notice that we are putting the transition words at the beginning and we have a comma over here, right? We'll always start with a comma. Sounds good, everybody? Yes. Questions you yes, want to ask? I mean, no. Okay. All right. So since it's all clear, um, let's move on to the next part, which are the exercises. So look at the box above and um, complete the following paragraph and add punctuation where necessary. So here we have this box. Actually, it's not above, it's below, sorry. Um, how to create an effective training manual. That is the, um, the topic of this article. So I want you to go ahead and decide which words you're going to put in each one of these blanks, okay? So go ahead, work on it individually. How are you guys doing? Are you guys ready? Do you need more time? One additional minute. I'm ready. You're ready? Anybody need more time? No? You're ready? In my case, yes, I am. Yeah? Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we know Jose Ayala is done. Is everybody else done as well? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, great. Okay, so um, let's write the answers then. Let's see if the answers that you have um, are the same for everybody. Okay, so let's start with the first one over here. Um, let me just change. Change the setting here. Okay, so we'll have um, uh, Natalia. Natalia, is your internet working a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, one, hey, yeah, I can do it better. Okay, good, excellent. So you, uh, did you restart the modem? Uh, no, they received the computer. The modem is fine. I don't know, maybe the computer is, is slow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens, you know. Okay, good. So, Natalia, can you help us out with number one? Yeah. First, coma, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to improve in your company. 
Sounds good. Okay. All right. So like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, uh, Natalia. Um, all right. The next sentence uh, will ask, let's see, um, Juan Francisco, can you please help us with the next one? Okay. Um, after that, it is necessary to write the con content and maybe, uh, yeah. I don't know, pronunciation DVD. Okay, divide. Uh, divide. After that, it is necessary to write the content and the, divide it in module or chapter. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, um, next we'll have, uh, let's see. Um, We'll have Andres. Can you help us with the, with the next one, Andres? So I have Dan. Mm -hmm. Then what? Can you read the rest of it? This, can you read the rest of the sentence? Uh, then you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Thank you. Okay. And finally, let's have um, Ivan help us out with the last one. Okay. Finally, comma. Mm -hmm. You continue. Revise the manual and print it. Okay. All right. What do you guys think about this? Do you agree with this? I agree. You agree? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And you know what? I agree too. This is correct. This is also correct, and this is correct, and this one's also correct. But guess what? With this one, we can also add. Afterward. Exactly. So we can also say afterward, right? So um, afterwards. So that's also another possibility for this one, OK? OK, any questions so far? <laughs> Some words, the correct pronunciation, analysis. Okay. For example, uh, chapters or captures and revise. Are those the words that you're asking about? Yes, I'm not sure the, the correct pronunciation. Thanks. All right, no problem. So this is, um, um, okay, uh, notice that this is not a, this is not a verb. If you notice, it says an, so it's indicated that it's a noun, not a verb. Uh, if it was a verb, you would say analyze, right? It would be like analyze, uh, well, although it's spelled a little differently. But in this case, it's not um, a, a verb, it's a noun. And the noun is an analysis, an analysis. Okay. And as a verb is to analyze. <clears throat> right, yeah, to analyze. But this is an analysis, okay? Does that make but sense? The, the written is different. Yes. Uh, to analyze, yes, it's it's spelled differently. 
um, you would spell it like to, to analyze. Okay, so that's how it would be um, if it was spelt as a verb. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions that you guys have about this? Uh, teacher, what what, uh, what is the, the difference after that? After words? It's the same thing. It's a synonym. It's just that after that are two separate words. And if you don't want to add another word, you would have to just say afterward. So we always have to say after that, or after the game, or after I came back, et cetera, et cetera. So, but if you don't want to add another something else after the word after, you could just say afterwards, and then you don't need to add anything more. Does that make sense? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, good. All right, this word here is pronounced chapters. So chapters. Chapters. That's correct. And this word here is revise. 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 No, revise, no, it's revise. It's the stresses on the second syllable. Revise. 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 Advice. Okay. All right. Anything yeah. else? Uh, teacher, the correct pronunciation of processes or processes, I don't know. Below, Anna. Okay, and so again, this is the noun. Okay, this is not a verb, it's a noun. So it's the, pro, um, choose the processes. The processes. And the verb is to process. Yes, yes correct. Processes. Processes, the processes. Okay. Any other anything else that you want to ask about? Okay. Okay. In that case, I'm um, moving on. I'm going to clear this uh, this um, slide, and we're moving on to the next part, which is your turn. So, work individually. Write a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. Use transition expressions from the box, right? And work in pairs in your assigned breakout room and share your paragraph with your classmate. I think this part is probably going to be left until tomorrow because I think you only have time right now to be doing this part right here, okay? So we'll continue doing that tomorrow. But this part right here, I'm gonna give you time right now till the end of the class to write the 10 line paragraph about a process that you have to follow at your workplace, any process at all, okay? Um, preferably, I would I would ask you guys not to do like procedures like, um. Uh, that you talked about yesterday, for example, you know, the, the procedures related to the COVID-19, um, you know, where you have to, you know, wash your hands, wear a mask, um, take your temperature and things like that. I prefer it to be related to your work, directly to your work. What do you have to do in different situations at work in your, in your job position, let's say, okay? So right now, I'll give you guys the opportunity to do that. Okay, we have a few minutes. So about 10 minutes approximately. And in the meantime, of course, you can always ask me questions.
Okay. Um, so you guys can go ahead, ask me any questions that you have about the transitions or vocabulary that you need. And in the meantime, uh, we'll just um, go ahead and I'll take attendance while you guys are writing. Okay, so I have Ana Claudia. Present teaching. All right. And Habit. Present teacher. All right. Andres. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Dennis. Orlando. No, right. Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Edi Jorleni. No, right. Urban. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fabiola. No, right. Um, Haiti. Present teacher. Great. Irene. No, I guess um, she's not here. Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Josue. Josue, I guess, is also not here. Uh, Juan Francisco. Yes, I'm teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Jury. Great. Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel Alejandro. Guess not. Natalia. Present teacher. Great. Um, Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Werner. No, right. Okay, uh, Yvonne. Present. Great. Uh, Edgar Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez. No, I guess something happened to him. He's not here. Okay, I guess so. Uh, what about um, Eli? I guess not, right? Uh, Jose Montes? Present. Great, and Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, wonderful, okay. Any questions so far? Uh, in my work, um, we start marcando con el rostro. How do you say that? Oh, uh, clock in. You clock. You uh, you clock in uh, with a um, with your face face recogni recognition. You clock in with face recognition. Clock in. Clock in, yes. To clock in is like marcar. Thank you. You're welcome. I wrote it in the chat for anybody that needs it. Anything else, guys, you want to ask about? Okay, by the way, I wanted to remind you guys, today is our deadline for uh, the, um, for the, the, the homework, right? 2.5, up there has to be everything completed to, uh, until 2.5. And because tomorrow, uh, bright and early, I'm gonna be sending the report to InsaForp. So do you have until today at midnight? Okay, any questions that you guys have so far about the platform? 
Teacher, teacher, for tomorrow, okay? For tomorrow. No. You have until today at midnight. Today at midnight? Yeah, because tomorrow, first thing in the morning, like before 8 o'clock, I'm going to be sending the report. And what is the last the, the last homework? The homework is 2.5. The last one you need to do is 2.5. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher, oh. for this week, uh, in discussion, no, don't have any assignment. Yes, um, very, very good special. point. Um, I will be um, posting that uh, tomorrow. So uh, be aware of that as well, okay? Do they have a percent, uh, like a grade? The same uh, as the test? No. Well, it's not uh, graded per se that it's gonna like um, count towards a, like a, a percentage, uh, but it is um, something that you, you do need um, as part of the, the discussion of your, you know, your practice, let's say. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I guess that helps you to identify how we are going through. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You, know, you hit it right on the spot. <laughs> and that actually brings me to my next point, which is the fact that I noticed that not many people were participating in discussions uh, before. I saw like basically like five names probably that were like, you know, the ones that were mostly participating and others I didn't really see. So I need you guys to work on that, please. Okay. It should, I mean, if you notice, like I'm not asking you to do big, enormous things, you know, it's just a little bit, um, just writing. Um, it's probably going to take you like uh, to do all of them so far, and the, including the ones I'm going to be posting tomorrow, it'll probably take you like, I don't know, 20 minutes to write, 20, 25 minutes, right? But it's a very good practice. Okay. All right, guys. How are you doing with your... I have one question, teacher. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they never correct the exercise 1.9, right? Yeah, I reported it, but they haven't. Um, they haven't gotten back to me. I asked them to um, to um, to get back to me when it's ready, so that I can let you know. So as soon as I get a, uh, a response back, I will let you guys know. I will let you know through the chat. Wasn't fixed. I wasn't fixed. Not as far as I'm concerned now. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I was checking that. Yeah. Okay. I already really finished my homework. Good. Good for you. Okay. Uh, I finished too. You're finished too? Okay. Good. Good. All right. Do you guys um, have any questions so far? Oh, teacher, thank you for your time. Okay. Good. Well, in that case, um, all right, we're going to, in that case, we're going to um, finish off our class there today. Um, and we're going to be, remember, we're going to be um, sharing your, your paragraph with your classmate tomorrow. So if you haven't finished it yet, I'm hoping you have, but if, if uh, and during this time you haven't had a chance to finish it, make sure that you do finish it for tomorrow so that um, we, when you go back, because of the beginning of the class, I'm gonna put you into, into pairs, you're going to be discussing, so you won't have time to be doing it, right? So I want it to be complete. So if you haven't finished, make sure that it's finished, okay? And today um, is going to be, um, Ana Claudia's turn, right, for the 101 session. Okay, okay. so yes. that'll be it for everybody, guys. Thank you um, uh, for being so great and participating in our class. And um, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, okay teacher. Right. Don't forget to good, 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 good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody.
Bye, Ivan. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> he wa didn't want to say goodbye. Okay, <laughs> teacher. I had. Uh, I was looking for something that I got confused, and I use it uh, in my in my job. The okay. usage of by, four, and two. By, four, and two. I don't know the if. The usage of, what was the first word? By. Uh, for example, sometimes uh, I need to write notes in some accounts. Uh, this customer was referred by Raul Martinez from this and this account. I don't know if in that way is correct or if I should write this customer was referred for Mr. Uh -huh. By so four and two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, sure. Um, all right. First of all, uh, with let me tell you that with uh, prepositions of um, uh, these are uh, prepositions of um, um, what's it called? Oh, it's gone. It's um, it's at the tip of my tongue. Just give me a moment. Um, <laughs> Uh, but they it, are will prepositions. it will come it will come to me anyways okay so these prepositions um it's a little bit difficult in the sense that sometimes there is no you know right uh there's no rule let's say in some cases uh but in the case of these words in particular um we can use them for example when we're using the word buy it means that somebody or something did an action okay uh -huh. um they so for example so i was referred by blah 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 uh -huh. so it means that that person had to do the action of referring okay uh -huh. so um it comes the referral or whatever it is it comes uh -huh. to that person okay all right okay um, Got it now makes sense for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And with the word four and two, it's actually going to depend mostly on the verb itself. Okay. Um, so there are certain verbs that naturally go with four, and there are some verbs that naturally go with two. Okay. Um, so you kind of have to learn which verbs go with four, which verb goes with two. And the four and the two um, indicates that something is done for another person, that it, that that, um, that person receives that action. Okay? Hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, so in that case, uh, the usage of four and two beside the verse has something to do if they or it's important or i don't know if it's matter if they are regulars or irregular no it's something apart no 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 uh for example i could say um uh i i bought you can say i bought a um a present for my mother i bought a present for my mother because by the verb buy goes with the word for. Okay, you never say I bought I bought a present to my mother. It, it, the word uh, buy the 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 verb buy does never goes together with um, to. Okay, uh, but if you send, for example, send the verb send, you use it with to. Okay, so we would say, for example. Uh, I, you can say, I bought a present for my mother and I sent it to her. Oh. I sent it to her because the verb send um, collocates. These are actually uh, collocations. You guys, do, do you, have you ever heard of collocations? Mm, no, but I just Collocation, it out. <laughs> yeah, collocations are words that naturally go together. Okay, so in, a, in, in languages, uh, there are words that naturally go together. To give you an example, um, do you do homework or do you make homework? Do. You do homework. You don't make homework. You do homework because it's a collocation. It goes together naturally. Okay. Do you, um, uh, do, you um, do a cake or make a cake? 
may because involves some a process. Right. That is a difference. Right, exactly. So you make a cake. No, you don't do a cake. But not all the time does that that rule applies. For example, exactly. do you do your bed or do you make your bed? Uh, make you make, I guess. Exactly. You make your bed. And the reason is because, um, you know, not because you create it, you don't create your bed. It's simply because it's a collocation. It goes together naturally. You make a bed. Okay, so um, those are collocations. So there are certain verbs that collocate with four, and there are certain verbs that collocate with two. And both of them indicate that somebody is the recipient uh, of that action. Okay, okay. Can I, if I look uh, additional information, can I look on them as collocation verbs or collocation Adverse or no, adverse. no, because the word collocation um, just means that uh, they words that naturally go together. So if you write the word collocation, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of things oh, and may not be pr um, pertinent to what you're you're talking about. So I would write it more with I would write it more like verbs that collocate with four and verbs that collocate with two. Awesome. No, but now it's uh, clear to me the use because I was doubting if I was using it in the correct way. Now it uh, makes sense. Uh, this customer was referred by Fulano de Tal from the company Fulano de Tal, right? Exactly. In that case, I, I'm using from is. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. From is a different thing, right? So, yes. Um, yeah, from means that it comes, um, it, it comes. The, the, the thing um, that you're sending um, comes, it's talking about the origin of it, okay? Okay, so from comes is the origin, right? For example, so you can say, I am, uh -huh. like, I am from Canada. Uh -huh. I am from, so it means my origin, okay? So in this case, I may use of eh, lactosa SADCB. Uh, for example, the notes I must write should say something like, uh, this customer was refer, referred by Raul Martinez of lactosa. I can use of, not. No, from. From. Uh, I can use from in that scenario. Right. Because that is the name of the company. That is the reason I'm asking. Exactly. So his he he is origin is from that company. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. Ah, okay. Because most of the time from, I have the idea is just exactly moving from or where you're coming from. Uh, Santa Ana. Or, ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's, yeah, basically, well, we say when you, where you're coming from, it's like, where is your origin? Where like your origin of the, of the, uh, of the, um, the trip, right? Where, okay. where, where did the, where did the trip originate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes, most commonly used it when you trip or something like that. Okay. Wow. Now I, I'm clear about the notes I'm going to add in my job. <laughs> Good. Doesn't okay. matter how been improved. <laughs> I love exactly. And something. you know what? I want to congratulate you, Ana Claudia, because this is exactly what the one-on-one -on -one sessions are about. One-on-one -on -one <laughs> sessions are not just about okay, what did you understand or what did you not understand from the class or any problems with the platform. It's also, it's just in general, like what doubts do you have about the uh, about the language? And that's why I said, everybody has doubts about a language. Everybody has a curiosity, like, I don't understand this, you know, please explain it to me. And that's exactly what you're doing. So thank you very much for, you know, thinking about oh, those things. Thank you. I was writing that, no, I always have problems with this, but now I'm uh, clear. I have clarity on how to use them better. Good, <laughs> uh, good. Thank I'm you so very much. That. <laughs> You're that, welcome. They, 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 those were all my doubts. I think I'm, I'm looking and I'm going to look for uh, the uh, verbs that collocate with four and the other ones that collocate with two to clarify. Yes, please do that. Um, okay, thank you very much, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, because of, you know, the, the, the you know, the situation that we have, we can't be showing, um, you know, pictures or anything, but um, 
uh, I can, if you want, uh, if you want more help, or uh, I can also look some things up and I can send them to you. Yes, please, well. of course, mm -hmm. do it to, through the WhatsApp if you can. Of course, I will be more than glad. Okay, <laughs> sounds it. great. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Right. You're welcome. Have a good night. You as well, Ana Clara. Take care. Have a wonderful night. The same to you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.